That's what we've done so far. 84 raids, survived 48. <sighs> oh, wait. Are we still on the PMC headshot task? We are. We've got we've got 30, 23 more headshots to get on PMCs. How many PMCs we killed so far? 57. All right, we can do audit now. We are going to be smashing past level 20 very quickly. Um, oh, huge news. Huge news for, news for everyone. Hideout's done the upgrade now, so we can... Move this down and actually have space again. Got some guns for setup. Might be time to go customs, I think. How good's that? All right, so that's that done. What else do we have done? Oh, we need level... We finish this. We need level 20. We need level 20 for this. Nope. For this. We need one tool kit. So we go mechanic, barter, tool kit. Got everything. So yeah, we just need level 20 now. We should have money spent for mechanic, right? No, we don't. All right, we need to sell some guns. 150K worth of guns. Guns, lots of guns. Um, Dailies. Kill Rashala. Just, just do a cheeky Rashala kill. No worries, mate. Fucking on it. Survivor Shoreline. Hand over nine bear dog tags. We actually can do this, but I'm not doing it because it doesn't give us anything worthwhile. Eliminate any PMCs in the thorax or the stomach. That's contradictory to what we need to get done. We lose rep. We're just not going to be able to do these ones. We'll leave this on in case we actually accidentally do it. But in all seriousness, um, I don't because I don't want to lose the rep. That rep is so important in hardcore. Look, look at all this rep for Rashala if we would get it all done. 0 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.01, 0.03. And then on top of that, if we get this done, it unlocks like six tasks. So Rashala is pretty much sorted for rep. Yeah, we need to get me. Oh, I need a mechanic rep. Um, we'll signal. Okay, so the things we can focus on right now is we need to get either gold chains or three crackers and an ice cream tea. <laughs> <coughs> All right, I'm just dying here. I think just to keep it simple, I might go shoreline. Signal, scrap metal, three markers. Mosin man, take me by the hand. Need the three markers, because I don't think we have any. Oh, who else sells the markers? It's like skier or something, Ragman. We need money spent on Ragman? We don't. We actually have Ragman tasks to do too. Man, we can start getting this moving. All right, so today we are getting this moving. We are going to focus on doing all the tasks that we can just smash out like that. Today we're going to get some levels. Let's focus on some levels. I want this. All right. So, task. Shoreline. Signal part one. Scrap metal. I think that's it. Wounded beast. Motherfuckers. All right, let's do it. No, Savinia, but it be bad boom, boom, swing your way, swing your way. Nas Venya We're here. Oh, I got contacts on. Ugh. Give it like a minute, we'll be daylight. It's the sun rise. When the sun rises. No, I got nothing else. Crunchy, crunchy, snow, snow.
Drylaw, thanks for 43 months. <laughs> to be fair though, you can kind of see like if someone was running along, you'd see them quite easily. Whereas if it was green, we wouldn't. If Nikita was a hot Russian chick, no one would complain. Any comment I make from that will only either make me sexist or an arsehole. So I'm just going to say nothing. Yep, Mondi, thanks to the T1. Benji, carry on, thanks to the T1. <clears throat> I'm struggling to find Sledge any suggestions. I find them all over the place on streets, in the factory area, and... Stuff like that. I don't think we need nippers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Righto, champ. WD-40. WD-40 my fucking ass. Literally the second item I find. Signal's done. I'm ready to go home now. Survive chore line, yeah. I think it's rep. Yep. Cool. Where did I find a 6 year AK mag? The first one I found was on a player. All the other ones are going to craft, so I need to find AK mags. I've got actually a fair few keck tape already, so that's good. Shoot a 24, shoot 24. Thanks to the prompt. Keep saying thanks to the four months. Thanks for 25 months. Woohoo. What's your sleep schedule like? I go to bed around 8, 8 p.m. usually, maybe 8.30. Sleep by 9. And I get up at... At this point, I'm getting up at... Uh, 4.45, whereas I used to get up to 3.45. But I'm actually changing up. So I'm going to start getting up at 4.45, exercise for an hour, and then start my stream at 6. <coughs> I'll start my stream a little bit earlier because I've been sick now for a week or two. 
Um, but the plan is to exercise when I'm uh, not sick. That sounded on the other side, so I'm hoping I can just run straight through the bottom. Risky play. Oh god, now I'm stuck on stuff. Anything in here we want on the way through? survive they added way more crates up here I think we're going to die trying to get down. You know how close you're on YouTube right now? I'm glad you enjoy it. They need to fix that fucking um, door glitching shit. The guy didn't open the door. He just um, vaulted through it. But we heard no keys opening. Yeah, we heard him running over there. We have no pistols. Guns. I need lots of guns. We have to get this wounded beast up too. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to persist with shoreline, even though I have to do it naked. I, I don't want to take these AKs in because I don't have. I don't think I've got spare mags for them. Oh, I need those grey mags for 60 round mags. Oh, naked shoreline run. You feel body dragging could have a place in Tarkov. I'll say this about all your ideas, not you specifically, but chat. Whilst it's cool to add these things to, to the game, I really wish they would just focus on finishing the game. Like there's so many cool things they could add, like body dragging and I don't know, reviving teammates and shit. There's so many cool things, but at the end of the day, I'd rather them just get, get it to the state where it's a 1.0. There's a hidden stash just over here, but it's right next to a player spawn. It's gonna be a rig. I'm tagged and cursed. <coughs> I 
So there's no reason why I should go to the resort now unless I know I'm the last person there because I am not fucking around with people vaulting through windows and glitching through all the walls and shit. Fuck that. I just want to get this tank quest done and I'll get signal done and I'm getting out. You need a surgery kit of your own grizzly? Yeah, they do different things. There's like three scabs there. Hello? The bad man was shooting at me. Guessing you're gonna shoot at me too. It's like a suppressed SKS. Hello? Sir? Oh, I see him. This is a bad repeat. Hello? <clears throat> Fuck, my voice is cool. Hello? Did you say something? Hey, how you going, man? Sorry, my voice is really sore. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I said something about you said something about streaming. Can I come over? <clears throat> oh, he says he knows he's me. I don't know. I don't know the rules about this. <laughs> You want to do some tasks? <clears throat> no help. He knows too much. I'll, I'll come over and say hello. How you going? What's up? Enjoying the wipe? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cheaters. <laughs> At least you're honest. Why you got no fucking gear on? <laughs> uh, I died. I'm playing hardcore. Hey, my teammate, my teammate, my teammate's coming. Oh yeah, I forgot you're doing the hardcore thing. Oh no. Is he a nice teammate or a bad teammate? Yeah, it's my good teammate. He's good. How good? He's good. All right. Um. What? what? I might go my way, but it's a pleasure meeting you guys. See you. Check he looted all these. <coughs> Comes back and just kills me. Last wipe, I'm gonna need that. Ooh, a key. Ooh, a piece of candy. He was sitting right here. Maybe it was this guy.
I don't, I don't think I need the P90, let's be honest. Oh, PS ammo? This is godly. Eh. That may put this one on. We get if we get that line out, we get a dog's case. get out this line, to be honest. I would like that, you shunker. Nudes. SP, it's crap ammo. Sometimes you just need the small victories, you know? Heck tape, handy. Don't think we need that much more alkali. God, Cyclone. That's that's huge. That's the um, that's the MP5 SD. We need to get out. This is like, this is like huge. All right, we're gonna run, run like the wind. Run like the wind. Check this jacket. Stop looting? Dude, I'm already there. Like, if you don't loot, I wouldn't have found the cyclone. I wonder how far I can get over this way. Stretch. Oh, is it? Welcome. I'm new. I'm dad. Nice to meet you. Welcome, new. Thanks for the tier three for 68 months. Can we get some salutes up in the chat? Stretch. Hope you've been well, mate. Are you getting your pilot license at the moment? Is that what you're doing? Fancy. If you don't have my emotes, guys, 100 channel points, you unlock any of my emotes. Or you can just do 07. That's a tier 3 sub for 68 months. Thank you. Thank you so much, bro. Victory! Guns out. Got multiple guns out. Headshot some scavs. Made a friend. Friend. The cyclone is like poggies. Very poggies. All right. Line is huge. 
Okay, let me just let me just fathom this for a second. Because I think what's happened, if I'm not mistaken, I can do Gunsmith Part 3. Oh, key ID. It's a safe key. Not a great one, but it's a key. Alright, um. <clears throat> Cool. Therapist rep. Right, so. If we go mechanic, barter, MP5 SD, we now have the cyclone. So we can do that. Right. That part's all well and good, but we can't get the mag yet. We can't get the mag yet. Because we need Peacekeeper 2 or... <clears throat> Need Peacekeeper 2 or Mechanic 2, I think. We just gotta get the money spent. We can buy dollars. We're allowed to buy dollars. But we don't have any dollars. The other thing we can do right now, I think, is... Yes. Alright. We are permanently leaving this in here now. And when we go somewhere like Shoreline, we can now put the West key in there. Where's that safe key? Safe key goes in there. I kind of want to go from the bottom up. All right, any keys, any keys, any keys? Should we put the streets keys in there for now? Nah, they'll take up too many. See, so that goes on the MP5. That goes on the MP5. Okay, not that. That goes on there. All it needs now is the 60, is, is the mag. I don't actually know why we kept this. There's no way we're ever going to be able to use it to its full capacity. Should we get money spent? What, what's, what do we need? Six and a half K? How much? 65. Need 900 K. Rip P90. Did its job, mate. Did its job. We actually have to get money spent on mechanic too. So we need, oh, that's not far. Oh, because that barter trade gave us a heap. Oh, <sighs> we should actually, this, we actually should start doing the barter trades for this because we need that um, stock. We need that pistol grip. We need the uh, the sight. Very foregrip, I mean. This is actually something we should save up for. So UV lamps, DVDs, and weapon parts. We have a pretty decent shopping list of stuff to get. All right. Um, we go again. Do we have any meds? All right. I'm going to take a bit of cash for the car. We got one quest done for Shoreline. I want to get signal done, and I want to get scrap metal. Signal has part two and three we can pretty much hand straight in. Or oh, two, actually, we can hand straight in. Three is going to be a little bit more work. Is there any other quests that we consider easy? I really should start doing those interchange ones, too. I, I want to go for, like, level 25 today. So let's get this shoreline task done. <clears throat> One second, it's going to get my, uh, my game crashed. What the fuck? Who did it? Who did it? It could at least maybe go prone. Just have me stand out in the open like that? What kind of dick move was that? We, we really need, oh, actually, you know how like BitBot works? We should, we should program it that I can like press a button and it enables you guys to control me, All right? And you can, you can only get access to certain keys like WASD and like prone. So then for example, for example, do I just see someone moving? When I go AFK, you guys can actually move me around and, and put me in, a, in, in somewhere to go prone. <laughs> Means I can go potty without having to worry about it. No, I wouldn't have it as BitBot. Like, I, I would have it free. Like, you guys would do it for free.
There is someone there. There has to be a scav. Let's can't get a clean sight. Oh my god. The mosquito just beat me. Does bro live in a shack? It's more of a shed. I don't know. I still have studio cam. That's kitchen. Upstairs. That's where I sleep every night. Yeah. I'm over here. Hello. <clears throat> Are you sleeping in the shed? Because you guys keep demanding more of me And so I, I stay here Close by Make sure you guys are safe Just got two GPUs on a scav run No Oh, whereabouts? Tell it so we can get him too. Reserve garage computer room. Reserve garage computer room. Reserve garage. Garage? Computer room. Oh, upstairs on oh, like the night building. Solid. Oh, hey, you got two GPUs and four computers. I would have thought interchange, but is he dead? He doesn't look like he's moving, but he looks like he's also could be locked in. Oh, he's dead. Is he dead? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, was that a whiz on me? Trust you survive this raid. You trust? I don't. But at least we've got Tiger Safari done. 
Oh, sorry, scrap metal. 19k. That's five. I want to get signal done. That's six, seven. GOW, thanks for four months. If we can get Wounded Beast done, then our six office kills in Factory, then go kill Rishala, we would get the Rishala quest done and the Rishala daily done. Just putting it out there. Your friend Deki, Stir Deki, was a fun, chill streamer. His chat was a bit sus, though. He is a full degen. I love Deki. I've lived with Deki overseas. He is full degen. That man slept inside a homemade spaceship for like 50 days during a subathon. I don't like this. It's a little too quiet, you know? The guy shot me from inside that room. There's no way he was meant to be in that balcony. <clears throat> I don't even think it's possible to get to that balcony. It's actually kind of pog. That's nice pog. No, three or one's down here. Anything's possible with vaulting, exactly. Bob one two five, thanks for the nine months, dude. <sighs> left resort at seven minutes left. Thought I could go check if cottage is open. I was it was there and someone was camping inside. You can't say someone was camping it, right? They they might have heard you coming up and just not moved. Right? They could have gone in there thinking the exact same thing as you. Oh, I'm gonna go in there. I'll go check cottage at the end of the raid. He had a tent though. Still not convinced he was camping. Do you have a fire? If you had a fire, then I can. I can believe. Jarhead, thanks for the 14 months. There needs to be at least a fire with marshmallows.
It's an airdrop. My God. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Uh, Clayson, thanks for eight months. Shots back towards resort. It's coming right for us. Oh, good. It dropped on that side. Perfect. Perfect airdrop. You can't hear me. I said it dropped on the other side and they're shooting back at resort. And it's perfect. Run, 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 run. Yeah, they add, added the loot this white. That stuff around there. I have to do a, a new guide to Shoreline. I have to do a new guide to Ground Zero. And I have to do a guide to Streets still. Let's film them Monday. All three of them. Streets, Ground Zero, and Shoreline. So we appreciate the hell out of the hardcore runs because you uh, actually feel the pain of us basic account users, even more so with all the restrictions. Keep it up, man. No worries, dude. Exclamation mark rules for the hardcore rules. Zach Ando says, Come. Uh, Simone, thanks for three months. I always, um, I always love the, I don't know what it is. It's like some like video you watch on Twitter where it's like, is it Nancy, Nancy Peluso? I think her name is. And she's like, do not come, do not come. And then they go, and Trump's like, I'm going to come. <laughs> oh, fuck. That cracks me up every time I see it. Pops up every now and then. Is it? It's Kamala, Kamala Harris. I got no idea what her name is. Oh, I literally, you put a line of like ten different political figures from America, and unless they were a president, I would, I wouldn't know who they were. <laughs> I used to know actually like back in like early 2000s like I used to know a lot more about American politics with like Colin Powell and stuff. That's when I was studying international relations. At school. That was actually my favourite topic. For year 11. Second last year of school. 
I studied international relations, and it was right when um, the Iraq War started, Gulf War Two, and uh, it was like a really interesting time to be studying politics. Like we were pretty much saying, like they're going to invade in like three weeks. It's top of the morning here, mate. That was a huge dub raid. All right, everyone in chat does right once, and then you got it out of your system, and then you can have post clarity for a bit. Statistically, there's probably one person that's been edging this whole time in chat. It's now just fucking been ordered to do what he needs to do. <laughs> All right, now you got you got that out of your system. Can we go back to being a normal chat? Oh, full DJ. This is what Decky's chat's like, just so you know. The people that we're curious. Oh, we don't need that. We could eat that actually. Sorry, mate. Right, it's a spare rig. Oh, it's Eagle Eye next. I thought it was um humanitarian aid. You're joking. You're joking. We need one more G phone and one more CPU. Not a big fan of this gun, but we'll put that there. In case we die, we can use that next. Happy to sell these. We need to sell stuff to mechanic if possible. Cool, money spent. We actually have to get this quest done to get mechanic to the next level. So, uh, do I say it streets and go for filing cabinets? Or we actually could do an interchange. This is perfect interchange. Interchange and kill scabs. We haven't been in interchange in a while. All right, we want the pharmacy key with us. I think we just keep that on with us just in case we, for some reason, go in there. Um, One sec, son, I'll get back to you in a, in a jiffy. There's the pharmacy. Cool. Don't need that for any quests. We can probably save the MP5 in case we get in trouble. Need a gun. Cool. All right. Interchange, kill scavs, and we need a CPU and a G phone. Interchange has always been a rough map for me, so this will be interesting. Oh, we also need to get the uh, the crackers and uh, green tea. Two crackers, one green tea. All right, let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall today. So Pestoy, sorry I've been asked this a thousand times, but you got any tips on how to get your bearing in streets? Uh... The main roads, you learn the main roads. And then once you learn the main, like the main roads. So go in offline mode, follow all the main roads around and then just get your bearing around that with a map up on a different monitor or on your phone. After you've done that, then start exploring off the main roads and go into like a building and then come out on the other side or around it. If you do that, then uh, you should pick it up pretty quick. I'm dead. GG. He was, he was hunting players. He ran straight across from, um, I don't know the name of it, the fucking fuel tanker. That dude was sweaty. He was out for blood. Well, there goes all my gear. Actually, I've got one more gun. We've got the Vepa Hunter, and we're going to also take in um, the WT rig. Six. This is an interchange in a nutshell, chat. You need, you need a spawn where you're not on the, like, that was the furthest spawn from the actual building itself. Like, unless, no, I think that is actually technically the furthest spawn from getting inside the building. I think I'm pretty much done with ground zero now. Like, I don't think there's anything else I need to do in there. I think for those headshot PMC th uh, quest, the weekly, I'll, I'll probably farm a bit of factory to finish it. Because if I can get that wounded beast quest done, then I'll have the six PMC kills in the office area of factory. So... I'll just do a heap of factory for that. 
Even if I have to go in naked and run around like an idiot. Ground Zero has been used and dusted. Timmy's can chill now. Exactly. Exactly. Alright, let's do it. It's not about how long you live, how many kills you get, but how many times you accidentally hear someone who runs past you, and how many times you get got ratted, and how fast you recover from the tank of tilt. Sure. Undutchable, thanks for 13 months. I'm so effing stupid, I went to the dunk house, got there, forgot the key. No, that feeling. Three shots, brother man. Sir, I only need one. And I'm dead. You know what I actually should do? Oh, wait, how do I unlock Shooter Born in Heaven? It's farming, isn't it? Farming part three? I should get farming part three done. I actually feel like I might be able to get Shooter Born in Heaven done. In hardcore. A bit of work, but I think I could do it. This would be the perfect map to sit on the top of the rafters with a, with a Mosin and a Sight and just kill people on the way to extract. Don't judge. You've all thought it. Wait, can't I craft G-phones? I can craft something. G-phone, CPU... Yes? What do I need to do the craft? Broken screen? Really? I know it's a couple hour craft. Let's get the CPU and then after we get the CPU, we'll craft the, the diary there. Definitely don't need RAM. So there's that. Might as well finish these computers while we think about it. G phone screwdriver equals broken G phone, broken G phone X SSD. What you need a broken G phone to make a broken G phone? Really? Doesn't sound right. Okay, G Phone X and a broken LCD.
Now we only need one CPU. It's not really my intention, but I could take the no backpack extra. Get a small victory, you know. The G phones are in here, so. Yeah, this is this has been cleaned. Well, next ones are actually kind of rare. Tetris. <coughs> well, we can get rid of that. Grab a Tetris. It's a bit of money. At least we know this is not looted then. Spark plug. We could go back upstairs. I don't really want to. Such a risky move going up there. I'm tempted just to extract, to be honest. A few weapon crates in here we can check. Gold chains are handy. Fine. Done. Nice gas. Ooh, M700. It's gonna be hard to find the rail for it, but oh, it's hip fire. Just lag there. The Ollie staircase leads to three filing cabinets. True. There's, there is literally no point us going upstairs and looting those filing cabinets unless we can get a bigger rig. Ma! Ma! Got him! Oh, I just had no idea. 
Unload, drop that. Unload. Ooh, now we've got more ammo. Am I blind? I think this is the player's cav. This is the player's cav. Holy snap. He could have hurt. All right, this is where we need to be real for a minute. And make a decision. We either go balls deep or we leave. Most people are saying leave. Most people are wrong. All right. Um, where was that guy that I killed at the distance? Back here somewhere, but. Yeah. Is that a better site for us? You need a magnet for barter? Put one mag there as a backup. Like emergency. Glad you're loving it. Okay, this is my strategy. We finish the the mall trip one. We actually needed squash too. But we got rid of the cash. Mm. Oh wow. Another player scav. Feck. Oh, that's been opened. We went into avocado, didn't we? We did the scav here. Players caves on this map are by far the most terrifying thing on this map after killer. Because they can just overwhelm you. They hear a gunshot and the next minute you've got six player scabs on you. It's 
the dead scav. Pretend to be a scav? I look very scav like. I've recently developed severe psychosis recently and I can't go to school. Your new series is keeping me sane from this boredom. Thanks for everything. I'm um, no worries, dude. Thanks for the 200 bits. I don't know what psychosis means. Chat, educate me. Makes me think of that Beastie Boy song. It's clean, clean, and sign. I don't know why, though. And I'm hoping you don't take that as offense. Um. You can't tell what is real and what isn't. Oh, wow. That's actually quite terrifying. I actually... This is... Delving into the brain of Pestily. Sometimes I sit there and I go, what if this part of my life is a dream? Like, I think that shit. And then I get really confused. I'm like, well, what if it is? Then I have to, like, pinch myself. Or I'm inside a matrix or some shit. And I've, I've gone to... <laughs> I've just had this really long... What, what seems like six years of my life playing video games and having all the success and, and weird shit going on. and I'm actually still in the army. <laughs> like, I have those weird things. Wake up, pest! Yep, pest still has psychosis. It's not like an everyday thought, but like, you know, sometimes you're sitting there and just appreciating the moment. Reflection is a really good thing to do, by the way. Every now and then, just... Just sit there and reflect on what, what, what's happened in the last day, month, year. And actually appreciate it. Because otherwise what you get you get so focused on what's going on and, and where you're going and what you're trying to do, that you actually don't appreciate what actually you've achieved. Yeah, I, I straight up still have nightmares about being back in the army. Like no word of a lie. I I, w I sometimes have a dream that I'm back in the army and I wake up and I'm like not very happy about it. What was traumatizing about it? I don't think it was like well maybe it was some sort of trauma but like it was just a very influential part of my life. Like a lot of things happened during my time in the military. I had, uh, you know, like had a serious relationship that, you know, like that ended and I spent a lot of time away from home, got physically injured multiple times, like I mentally exhausted myself a lot. And it is! Redhead dead shot, thanks to 17 months! I get the dream so twice that my old sergeant told me off, then I remember I left. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the same. I never did any time in the Middle East, Darren. But I did spend a lot of time in Southeast Asia. Well, that's going to be level 20. It means we have one last level. If we ever want to go back to the old ground zero. Right, we need a G phone. Please don't make it a, an episode of when will we find the G phone? What's most accurate from the military to Tarkov? Gun goes bang. It's probably about the only real thing that happens. I actually do have it all. An Aaron 40 crafted it. 
The way the guns shoot, as in like the actual animations of the gun shooting and the, the fact that bullets go out of the guns, that's about as realistic as Tarkov gets. Which is why I've always preached that I think arguing about realism in Tarkov is, is it's not something that people should even try. Nothing fishy about this. Alright, a little bit of XP there. 